Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial series. In the previous episode, we have learned about how to install ExpressJS and we also wrote a little piece of code, hello world code. This episode, I will explain you line by line what that code means and then we will get, we'll be able to comfortably start writing, implementing ExpressJS code in our applications. Welcome back friends, my name is Sridhar. I welcome you to the third part of ExpressJS understanding the hello world code that we have written in the previous episode. All right, so this is just a quick recap. So how do we install? We install, we did the, we checked the node version, NPM version, we did nodemon, and then we did a NPM install express to install it. We also wrote this little piece of code, which is just nothing but hello world, simple hello world, nothing else. So I will walk you through each line of, of this code, explain you what it does, and that should be your starting point of learning ExpressJS. So let's dig a little deep into it. So let's break down line by line, right? So the first line that we saw was importing the ex ExpressJS, right? So if you see here where Express equal to require Express, right? So if you see here, we are what we are doing here is we are just importing the library, right? Importing the module, importing the ExpressJS into our application. Right, that's step number one. Then what we are doing, we are creating an instance of our application using Express, right? We are initializing. We are initializing the application using the Express. Once we have done it, here we are doing something important, right? So what we are doing is, so so here, if you see, we have created an application of express type called app, right? So using that, we are doing configuring a route, right? We are configuring a route. The next step is using the app, we are configuring, configuring the route of get method and path is slash get users, right? So what this means is whenever um, whenever the API endpoint, right? So whenever there is a request, whenever there is a request for this endpoint, right? Which is slash get users, this response will be given out, which is rest, which is hello world, right? Now here there are some important things to note, right? So the format is simple. Here we will write, here we'll write app, Right, app instance, that's what we created here, where app equal to express. Then we will write the type of HTTP that you want to use, right? So what are the different HTTP methods we have? Get, post, put, patch, and delete, right? So these are the different ones that you can use. So here we are saying dot get, right? If it was post, you would say I'm expecting dot post. If it is put, you will say dot put, etc. So on and so forth. So I'm saying app.get whenever there is a call to the URL. What is the URL? Slash get users, right? Now the question is, should it always be this URL? No, this is totally based on your application, right? So whatever you want to call it, you can call it. You can call it get users. You can say slash users, slash uh, roles, whatever you decide, right? I'm calling it get users. Right now, I'm saying whenever there is a endpoint that hits get users, it will always have a callback mechanism with request and response. Right. So what does it mean? That means we will have both request captured, request captured, and we can also process the response as output. Right. Request captured as input and response is formatted as output. So if you see here, we are not doing anything with the request, right? At least not yet. And as part of response, we are just sending out hello world, right? That's why we are, and finally we are writing that, listen to the port number 4000. Finally, we are starting the app at port number 4000. What this internally does is, it will call the node feature HTTP dot create server and there it will listen to this particular port number, right? That's what it is doing internally. 
I hope this is clear, but let me quickly show you how it works. So now if you see here, how do you run it? So you do node followed by the file name. So here we'll write index.js. Run it. Now we have it running. So what I'll do, we'll go to this and we will write localhost 4000 slash get users. And we see hello world, right? So this is the endpoint that when we are invoking, it will call hello world, right? I hope this example is clear to you because this was your starting point of learning to understand Express.js. In the next episode, I will cover much detail about the routing strategy and we'll start implementing routes in our application. We'll also learn about Postman tool so that we can start using a Postman tool for our request and response. It's going to be a wonderful journey. I hope you're enjoying. Please drop in your queries, comments. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.